I'm always showing you guys critical thinking games because I think they are fabulous ways to learn and play at the same time. And today is no different. I've got a video jam packed full of some critical thinking games. And not only that, ThinkFun is sponsoring a giveaway. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are doing logic and critical thinking games, one of my favorite things to do on the channel. I'm constantly showing you guys these because I think they're just a great way to learn and to work those brain muscles as much as you can at the same time. They don't even know that they're learning. It's fabulous. If you're new to the Purple Alphabet family, I would love it if you were to subscribe. We do educational activities for kids and ideas and inspirations to learn through play. Lots of giveaways and hauls and everything too. And speaking of giveaways, I have a giveaway winner for you. Last week we were giving away some games from Goliath and there was five different games that we were giving away. All these games are great beginner games and preschooler games. I showed you all of them in the video. So if you're interested in these games for your toddler or preschooler, you must go back and see them. If you see your name here, congratulations. You have won. You have 72 hours to respond to claim your prize. If you didn't win, don't worry because there's a giveaway in this video too, which is going to be just as great. Think Fun is sponsoring today's giveaway in the video and they've sent me a whole bunch of games all the way from 18 months on up so I can't wait to show you those and if you're interested in the giveaway be sure to watch all the way to the end of the video for those details I'll tell you exactly what to do to enter so let's start off our video with the one for the youngsters this is for 18 months and up it is called roll and play and I definitely know you're gonna like this one so this is roll and play for 18 months and up and this is new to me I've never played with this or even tried this because I know a lot of you guys have toddlers and you like those active games games. It comes with this large plush cube and you can see on every single side there is a different color on it and it's a really good size you can see compared to my hands. It's nice and big and it's soft. So inside here we have our cards. There's 48 cards in here and there's different categories and these cards they're going to promote colors and counting, gross motor skills, following instructions, and then image and word recognition. Here on the back here you can see the different card categories and then there's also an instruction guide inside too. Now the Card categories are all colored so that you know what they are. So here are the emotion ones. You have some that say giggle and laugh, make a happy face, make a surprise face. And then you have the purple cards, which are body parts. It says tickle your knees, pinch your nose, wave your arms, pull your ears. There's some examples. We have the green category. These are animal sounds. Moo like a cow, meow like a cat, quack like a duck. And then let's see, we have some orange ones. These are counting cards. So there's a number on here and it says spin around two times, hop four times. So you're learning each number here count five fingers and then we have our blue cards Which are our colors. So find something green find something red and then we have our red cards Which are our action cards wave bye-bye sing a song blow a kiss do a silly dance give a high five all kinds of really cute activities place these colored cards all together here face down. Now what's great about this game is that there's no competition. It's an active game so your kids are going to be moving which is really important especially at this age and it's a very simple game to play. So all you need to do is just roll your color cube and whatever color it lands on is the color of the card that's in play and you pick it, read it, and do the action. I told you it was really simple gameplay so not only do they get to have fun rolling this big giant cube they get to do a fun action that corresponds with the card anytime that you can involve a movement especially with that toddler age it is so important and it'll actually help keep their attention longer and then help them to calm down for more focused activities such as sitting with you and reading a book for example something that's a little bit more subdued versus getting your energy out with this game definitely think this is a good option and lots of different choices to pick from and lots of fun things to do together with one or more players. A couple weeks ago I showed you the younger version of this one. It's Rush Hour. This time I'm showing you the one that's for eight years old and up, but there is a younger version of this one, so be sure to go watch that video from a couple weeks ago to see the difference. Rush Hour. Some of you I already know know what this game is because I've always read about it in my comments. You guys tell me that you guys have this game, you love this game, it's one of your favorites. So this one's for ages eight to adult. It's a single player game. Comes with this game board. If you watched my video 
video on the Rush Hour Junior, you will find that there's far more pieces on this version, but it's the same concept. We have our Think Fun game bag here. You can put all your pieces in. And then what's nice is underneath here are our playing challenge cards. There's 40 of them. And the thing about Think Fun is they always put their cards, their challenge cards with codes on them. So this one says beginner, our green is beginner, our orange is intermediate and it goes up to advanced and expert so you always have different level challenges that you can try and then once you get good at one level you can move on to the next level so in this version you're going to get one red car four blocking trucks and 11 blocking cars and you're going to select these pieces based upon what the challenge card tells you to use your goal of the game is to get the red car through to the exit slide the blocking cars and trucks out of your way until your path is clear so let's go ahead and and take one of our challenge cards. We'll do our first one because Christina is new to this game and it shows me the cars that I need to have on my grid. So I'm gonna take off all my cars and copy the picture exactly. And I wanted to note too that there's also a little place here to put your card, but I'm not sure if you can see that very well on camera. So I'm just gonna lay it down here. So we have it all set up here according to our picture on our challenge card. And so now our job is to get that red card to our exit, which is right here in this little divot on our game tray. Well, I can do that by sliding cars forward and backwards we can't lift any of the cars or trucks off the traffic grid at all so they always have to be touching so I think I'm gonna try the most obvious solution to move my purple one all right took a couple of tries but I got it by sliding all the cars around in a specific sequence in order to get my red car out if you get stuck don't worry the answers are right here on the back right here at the bottom it tells you which pieces to move how many times how many spaces and in which order so you can solve the puzzle on your own it has a little code on here it tells you which pieces are which to accomplish that we're doing logic and critical thinking of course one of the favorite things on the purple alphabet <laughs> every single time one of these games comes across my path I just love it so this is a really great challenge and if you want an easier version there is one available it's called rush hour junior so it's much more simple and has less challenging puzzles for your younger kids but if your kids around the ages of eight and up want something more challenging this one is the one to get next up we have a favorite this one is is Gravity Maze. I know you all are gonna like this one. It's Gravity Maze and it's all about marbles and mazes. And if your kids are like mine, they like both of those things. This one's for ages eight and up. And what we're doing on this game is we're building path through towers to get our marbles to our target. So inside the box, we have our base right here. These are all of our towers and we get nine of them, including our target tower comes with three marbles and then our challenge cards and inside our challenge cards there are 60 challenge cards in here and of course like always we have our labeled levels skill levels here at the bottom we have beginner for green intermediate advanced and expert our answers on the back as normal too so what we're working on here is a lot of visual perception planning skills, reasoning, and then of course our testing our abilities, trial and error. And of course, all of that good logic stuff. We're gonna set up a challenge here according to our challenge card. So we'll just do the first one as normal and then I'll probably do a more complicated one at the end. Tell me which pieces to put onto my grid and where to place them. So I've got an orange one, so I'm gonna put my orange and I got my target, which is the red one. On our challenge cards, it tells us little signals here. If there's a white dot, that's where our start position's going to be and then our red target right here tells us that's where we need to end. There's also black dot markings around the tower picture, which tells us exactly how to place them in their position. So I just match it up to my tower so I know exactly which direction it should face. Same thing with our red target here. So I'm just gonna match up my dot, turning it around to see which side I need to use. I think it's, and it goes there. Down here at the bottom, it tells me what I need to add to my grid in order to complete the challenge, but this is what the challenge is. It doesn't tell me where they go. I need a purple one and the gray one. Here's the gray one here's a purple one right here there's a little divot so I know if I put a marble in here it's gonna come down this way so now I have to figure out if I place the purple one or the gray one I'm gonna guess the purple one and in which manner so that it hits inside this target here I'm gonna try this way and then the same with my gray one okay then you have to test it and if this works my marble should go all the way to my target and it did 
so I have completed that challenge. If I'm stuck, the answer is on the back. It shows you the position and you just match up all of your markings and to see what you needed to do to switch it up. I put together a more complicated one for you, actually using all of the pieces, just so you can get an idea of how complex they can get. I think this one's really cool looking. I haven't tried it yet, so you guys are gonna try it with me together. We're gonna see if it works. You're supposed to put it in here at the top. You're supposed to hit this red target down here at the bottom, but it's gonna go back and forth just a little bit. Here we go. We're gonna try it on the top and see what happens. And it worked. Is it in the red target? Oops, yes it is. Awesome, so it actually went down, came across here, went down and then into the red again. I know that's hard to see on camera. I wonder if I can do it sideways. Probably won't work as well. And it's over here now. And then it went down here and then it goes back into the red. This one is a lot of fun. I am even enjoying playing it, so. Definitely worth a try. If you like Gravity Maze, I have a feeling that you're gonna like this one too. It is Circuit Maze. This one is definitely new to me, it's Circuit Maze. So if your kids like those kinds of games or toys where you have to connect things so that they actually have a result or an outcome using circuits, this one is definitely gonna be one of their favorites. It's for ages eight and up. And what we're doing in this game is that we're completing the circuit to light the beacons to win, basically. So we have our game grid right here. This one includes 60 challenge cards. We have, there's the solutions there. <laughs> These are our legends. We have our beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert level cards with our solutions on the back. Our instruction manual, and then our game tokens. So we have um, one two-part power supply. We have three LED beacons, one straight, one bridge, one double corner, two T-shaped, five corners, one switch, and one blocker. This game does not come with batteries, so I'm gonna put some batteries in here real quick so we can get started. And by the power and magic of YouTube, I got my batteries in. All right, so beginner level one card for Christina, who's just starting out. As is normal, it shows us the pieces that go on our grid to start us off. And on our challenge card, I see we have a plus here on our token, so that is where we start. We don't know where our finished token goes yet, so I'm going to go ahead and take our start token, which is our battery pack, and place it on the grid and the, the direction it says to place it. So it says the plus goes on the bottom or facing down, screen down. This piece we don't know where to put yet, so I'm just going to set that aside for a second. We're going to need our straight token, which is here in yellow. Once again, it has little hints on here of positive and negative right on there, and I match that up in the right direction. And then I need another straight token in gray. Got that here. Next, it says what to add to my grid. It looks like I get to add in my finish token, which is right here, connected to my start token. And then I need to add in a corner token, which looks like this. So I have to decide, oh, it says two of them. I'm gonna need two of them. So I get to decide where to put them on the grid to connect it all together to make this circuit work. Up here, it says my challenge, and underneath it, it has an yellow beacon. So this means that it's going to light one of the beacons, which will be this one. Okay, so let's figure out where to put these three pieces in order to make this circuit connect. I'm going to assume we're going to go this way and then this way and then over here at the end. And I can already see my yellow beacon has lit up and it matches my challenge. This challenge is complete. If you get stuck, you can look on the back for the solution, or you can, of course, move all of your pieces around to connect the circuit to make it work. I love this game and concept. I think it's absolutely brilliant. So you can get pretty creative, and as you go through the challenges, it gets more difficult, and you have to do more lighting up of the beacons using more of the pieces. Okay, guys, let's get on to the giveaway details because I know that's one of your favorite parts. So we're gonna get right to it. First off, if you haven't already, so make sure to subscribe to the Purple Alphabet YouTube channel. I would love to have you here as part of our family. Then leave me a comment down below telling me what Think Fun games you already have because I have a feeling that some of you already have a pretty good collection going. This giveaway is gonna have two giveaway winners and you know what? We're gonna let you choose which game you would like. And to officially enter to win, just go to the giveaway link that is in the description box. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address to enter. And of course, be on the lookout for all those bonus entry opportunities that I hide in social media and in this video. You guys click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.